In this video, we are going to see the types of web applications. Before going to the video, subscribe to my channel In and Around Computer. There are six different types of web applications. They are static web applications, dynamic web applications, e-commerce apps, portal web apps, content management system, progressive web apps. You can see them one by one. First is the static web applications. These are more like a collection of static web pages that display the same information to every visitor. They are built using HTML and this cascading style sheet and offer no interactivity. And certain businesses that record, uh, just require their key business information to be shown, requiring no input from the users could use a static web app. And next is the dynamic web applications. Dynamic web apps, as the name suggests, they are interactive in nature, involving server-side as well as client-side programming. If you can, you can uh, if you can input some information into a web app and retrieve different results, then that is a dynamic website or web app. Uh, here comes the question uh, uh, what's the difference between a web app and a website you you can see in a, as a separate video and coming to this dynamic web apps a wide number of uh, programming languages including php and asp to build a web app and they require web hosting databases and servers if you can reach, uh, can perform, an, uh, perform a search, create a user profile, post a comment or interact in any other way, you are using a dynamic web app. And next uh, comes the e-commerce web app. And if you wish to sell or buy anything online, you need a web app that can place orders and process payments. Such an app would be called as an e-commerce app for maintaining an updated database of products to main managing orders offers and transactions e-commerce web apps involve a lot more programming and this uh, e-commerce e web app is a shopping cart designed to sell items online then if um, so that will be an example of an e-commerce web app that uh, includes a shopping cart and portal web apps and this is a type of web application that allows uh, users to log into a secure area from a home page and take credit card payments for instance you could be on a shopping website or a bill payment website and when it's time to choose a credit card and make a payment you're asked to log, log into a credit card company's web app to complete the payment so this is an example of a portal web app and coming next is the content management system a system that allows even non-technical users to easily create and update content online. So this is the um, this uh, for this a uh, content management system is used, which allows uh, even non-technical users to use it e easily. And creating such a system that you, that simple non-technical users can easily use requires uh, definitely special technologies um, that is left to professional web developers. For example, WordPress, which is a CMS a web app that allows you to create your own website or blog. So this is an example of a CMS web app. And the last one is the progressive web apps. And this is a kind of application software that is designed to work on a standard browser on standard browsers like a Chrome, Safari, a Firefox, and Edge. And this, uh, basically, this uh, progressive web apps feel like a normal app that you download in your phone or tablet, but they are accessed using only a browser. So they are developed using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript rather than the tra traditional app development languages like Swift and Kotlin. And some good examples of the top companies who have their products as PWAs include Twitter, Pinterest, Uber, and TikTok, etc. 
subscribe to my channel if you feel contented like and share with your friends